Hi, Tasha. Where are we? Honey Harbor. What's Honey Harbor? It's a really uh, cute town in, like, cottage country. And why are we here? Um, because a rich friend of Elisa <laughs> suggested it. That's where we are. <laughs> Honey Harbor is a bustling town. There's lots going on here. There's boats for sale. Four boats for sale. Wow. Boat supplies. Boats. I feel like people are just selling their boats. Is it a road? Hi. Hi. Where's all the people in Honey Harbor? I don't know. There are lots of Adirondack chairs for the people, but there are no people. <laughs> we haven't found a single person yet. Um, I think this town might be haunted, but there's like, they have an Adirondack chair problem. There's, well, they're, they're everywhere. The geese are going swimming. It's a whole... Hi Natasha! Hi Elise! Where are you? We found the best swing. This is literally the top, the highest tier of swing I've ever encountered. Yeah. So, so far, Honey Harbor has not much to offer. But its one feature is the, like, 1960s era swings. Adirondack chair? Yeah, so these people have an Adirondack chair problem. Those people have an Adirondack chair problem. This is a sad vlog. Tasha, why is it sad? Pizza store is closed. The general store is closed. So what's open in Honey Harbor? Mm, nothing. Literally nothing. Not even Joe's parking lot. Even Joe's parking lot was closed. So update. We managed to find food. Not in Honey Harbor. Yeah, we're like, are we in Port 7? Yeah, we're in Port okay. 7. Which is also a little village by a lake. Yeah. And we found a place to get snacks. And we Natasha, what? A lot of snacks to choose from. And what did we order? <laughs> uh, a spinach dip, which should be good. But then one of these things is Mexican fries. <laughs> and it basically is all the things that go on nachos, but they're on fries. And I ordered so it. many things. No, so many things. And I ordered it, but now I'm really having doubts because I realized that curiosity got the best of me. Yeah, so we don't know. We'll, we'll keep you updated. What the Mexican fries entail. Anyways, we're just shopping for our cottage at the moment. Yeah, for 11 cats. For 11 cats, foster children, and soccer children, and things like that that we're planning to acquire in the future. Wait, update. So, the Mexican fries have arrived. And they actually look good. Like they look actually delicious. So, like, you we took the risk. Natasha, what's your view on the dip? The spinach dip is really good. Oh, yeah. Three, so, so we like thought we wouldn't get through them all. But there's only nine fries remaining. We're down to six fries remaining. So, this is where we're at. There's two, there's two fries to be eaten. Like, like look at how cute the, the pillows. Hello, Natasha. Hi. I'm doing a vlog. Hi. Where are we? All tucked in. So it's an inn called the All Tucked In. Yes. They have matching... So now, remember- So we got him, we were so cold. And we turned on every heater we could find. Natasha, are you okay? No, I ate too many fries, I'm so full. We could probably turn off that. No, I'm gonna stay by it. Such nice weather. Should we bring a towel? Yeah, let's bring towels. So since we're in cottage country, in Muskoka, we're gonna go enjoy cottage country with some time by the lake. So hot outside. Like, it, he waves. Oh it's my true. gosh. He waves, like, it always So happens. Natasha, explain what happened well, to our fun vacation idea. Oh, um, yeah, well, I ate too many fries and couldn't move. But then what about the weather? Yeah. Being so and, hot. But, yeah, but it's fine because it was kind of gross out then. Whereas just now, it, like, it's gotten so hot outside, so beautiful. <laughs> show that, show outside. It's this unprecedented heat wave. You'll see it better when, when we're driving. It's crazy. There. I didn't realize. It's this unprecedented April heat wave. We always think April is kind of chilly in Canada. That Easter time is usually chilly. But no, not, not, not today. this year. Not, not this year. It's scorching outside. Are you overheating, Natasha? I'm overheating. I'll try to open the car as fast as possible. So as you can see, unprecedented heat wave. And it is scorching. 
Oh my gosh, it's so warm. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, the car is too hot. It's so hot. We can hotel. Oh, I didn't bring a towel. I brought two. Oh, you didn't do it. Here. Temperature is more than zero, so it's gonna be a hot one. Um, but that's why we're going to the lake to take a dip. It's so warm. Oh my gosh, my feet are burning. My feet are burning. The only issue here is my feet are burning. Is the water too warm? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so warm. It's like my, it almost feels cold. It's so warm. so hot. Diamond, diamond. <laughs> Are you cool down? Are you cool down now? It's so hot. Water's too hot to. So it's, it's, okay. it's like a hot spring. I kept trying to cool off, but it's so hot. Yeah. It's like a hot spring. Okay, Elise. We'll, we'll go back. Go back. To the AC car. Yeah. At this point, getting into the AC is the only way to cool us down. We'll report later on what happened. But it wasn't everything we were hoping. <laughs> so. Reporting on what happened. Natasha, you explain what yeah, happened with the water. That was a bust because, like, the water was just way too hot. Maybe there were geothermal vents or something. Like, anyway, it did not cool us down properly. So we're actually going to go... Uh, so, um, this was Forest, Forest Harbor. We're going to yeah. go try Bayview Beach because we think maybe that would be cold. Because this one was like hot springs. We couldn't even go in all the way. Yeah, it was a bit... We couldn't even get our heads wet. Yeah. Oh. She's trying to AC her feet there so Yeah, well. yeah. That was another thing. Running across, like, the sand, I guess, had, like, absorbed so much of the heat from the yeah. sun that it was really, so, like, it was absorbed my Easter, feet. we're under climate change. So we're at Bayview Park now. Um, yeah, let's hope this can cool us down a little more. That's the goal here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'm, I don't want to risk this being another hot spring, so I'm just going to run and dive in before I have a chance to see if it's too hot to swim, okay? Yeah. And then I'll let you know, but I might be first. Okay. Time to head back. Got a nice bath going. Try to cool off some other way. Okay, okay we're back in the car. Gosh, let's be honest. It wasn't we're really that hot. We were exaggerating to hype up the heat wave. Yeah, it's actually kind of hot. Yeah. But you got to do that to compete in today's vlog market. Like, yeah, we had to hype up how much of a heat wave this was. It was just kind of like a moderate April heat wave. Yeah. <laughs> but I got so sunburned. Yeah. Like, I mean, this Natasha got of... fried, like, yeah, sunburnt, and then also and the, then the hot springs. Of my feet, you can see they're red from just being too hot. Same. Did the ice for the ice bath, Natasha? All the ice melted. Oh no, even the fridge won't keep it cold. Yeah. Right, this heat wave, this is climate change. I'll do a little rant about climate change later and why global warming <laughs> needs to be taken seriously. Just preparing for our dinner. Um, we were a little late, so. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's closed except like, we go to a gas station that's open. So, but we're vegetarian, so we can't eat like 90% of this. But we might eat a carrot pea corn combo. Stay tuned. I already opened it for burger that I have. Okay. Like it doesn't even spin. We are well rounded. Or, or, no, or you have to do... Wow, what is this? Tasha. such a feast. 
What is this? A Michelin star restaurant? Okay, this is a bird. It's really red. So I'm doing wildlife videography. <gasps> it flew away. We've arrived at Burb Bog. <laughs> um, it's a little hard to say. We think it's named we after the burb. Bog. We think it's named after the burbs. Well, because there are some burbs. That's what it's named. They look like very happy burbs. I know. I mean the big white ones. So there's swans. This is. They went away. I'm so bad at nature videography. Okay. Well, there's other. And I got my finger in it. There's other animals to be seen. There's ducks, there's a human. Okay, so we've run into a little, a very photogenic far, um, squirrel here. Hello. We should have brought snacks for him. I know, I wish I had snacks. It's so beautiful, actually. He's so right, now I've had, like, huge amounts of coffee. Natasha yeah, has had so much now. Like, five cups of coffee today. And, like, this comes, this is, like, milliliters wise, this is two cups. So, really, I've had. Six but it was worth the while, wasn't it?